Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday, everybody, on this uh, August 22nd. Good to see you all. Good to see you, Mike. Good to see you. Karen, Keith, Grant, Benito, Andrea, good to see you all. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. So let's get started, everybody. Uh, the beautiful day here in New York. Expected to be a uh, not exciting day. I mean, uh, as in going into the afternoon Friday, you know, like I said, there's only two more weeks uh, till summer. Actually, maybe a week, a week, actually. Uh, you know, going into this weekend, I know everybody's going to be doing as much fun as they can. It's going to be beautiful here in the way you are. So let's try to make our money and call it early day. But before we do that, guys, uh, a couple of quick announcements uh, before we start going through the watch list. And because I tell you, I got a bunch of nice moving stocks, MBIO. We had this RTRX at tank, but the uh, the MBIO has been great, the GME, the BJs, all that stuff. We'll talk about it in a minute, but before we do that, we just want to cover all the upcoming events. Uh, big announcement. Uh, first of all, today uh, the Phase 3 class has been completed. It's been archived, so if you are a student at CyberTrain University, just make sure you check your dashboard. It's, it's on your dashboard right now. And Phase 3 is going to be starting, and with Phase 3, everybody, uh, we're going to do something very, very new. Remember, we change a lot of the classes around because we want to focus more on the topic of an issue. So today, uh, I know uh, Josh has got a bunch of things he's going to talk about. First of all, he's going to covering Level 3 in great detail, and he's also going to talk about how market makers position themselves in order to book uh, and how they can manipulate traders. So... I know it's going to be a very exciting one. He's been working really hard uh, on that to kind of show you that. And we see it all the time in class. But the, um, and the other big news I do want to cover is that the on-site, you know the on-site's less than three weeks away? I mean, that's great. And by the way, big announcement regarding uh, uh, the on-site. We have, for the first time, Benzinga is going to be coming to on-site, which we're really excited about. Uh, you could see ben, uh, a lot of you use Benzinga. You're in the trading room. So, you know, I, I, listen, we always get great speakers. We're going to have book map. That's going to be there We're talking about level four. So listen, it's going to be a fun event. So you guys still have a lot of, uh, still have a chance to make it. I know we have a few more seats. So if you guys want to come, definitely make it. And if you can't make it on site, you could always do the webcast. So talk to education advisor, but, uh, but I'm really excited between level three, level four with Bookmap and having Benzinga do an exclusive event um, here at Cybertrain University. So here's your opportunity to talk to the owners of the company, which is uh, this is the benefits that you get when you're here at Cybertrain University. Mark says, Faust, I hear that you're also giving away a new Ferrari. Yeah, for the guy that, the, the, for the first person that can make, uh, what, quarter million dollars? <laughs> Listen. The, the, the big thing about this is, you know, Mark, and it's funny you say that, but I know there are people out there that want to give this away. and get, You know what? Go out and buy your own. Go buy you. The whole goal is, you know, I'm not a flashy guy. I don't think too many people here want to be too flashy. You know what? It's always more, um, how can I say it? It's always more, um, uh, you, you know, uh, my dad always taught me, don't, you know, you always look more professional and people respect you more when, uh, you know, when you're more of a low key guy, you know, just go out there and, you know, my goal is just to have you go buy it on your own. Nobody should give you anything for free. My father always said something. If you want to make something expensive, give it for free. And if you know what I'm talking about, read between the lines. Okay. So once again, if you want to make something very expensive, give it free. And those people that do that don't last too long in business. All right. <laughs> Can you love that word free? If it's if it's free, it's not for me. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to the trading. So um, once again, big event. Don't if you can. We just got the um, like I said, these are a couple of these benefits that you're gonna getting on site. So hopefully, you guys are gonna be a chance to be there. All right. Um, now let's go over a couple of things really quick. A couple of stocks. Once again, yesterday was a pretty decent day. I don't think it was the greatest day, but you know we had a couple of stocks that made some moves. You know, the PDD had some good earnings, a little shaky in the morning, got into like a level three, level four, the PDD right here. Got a little nasty sometimes. Uh, let me just change the time frame here. You know, I had a nice little pop in the morning. You could see how it just went at five o'clock this morning to seven to eight. And it literally ran from like 29 to 30. Now, not the greatest mover, but I mean, there were a couple of things out there. 
Who is the other one? Uh, a lot of them, just the only thing that happened yesterday, I saw a lot of them just do these big pops and they just tanked on us, right? I mean, there was just, uh, what was it, PCG? The PCG did that too, right? I can remember. Yeah, PCG had that like really from nowhere, just took off and then just tanked. <clears throat> there was a couple other ones out there too. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. BMP, uh, a couple other ones. Anyway, that's the past. Let's focus on the future, which is right now, because there's a lot of good ones right now that are moving. So let's start banging those out and get ready for the open. First, we got the CT, uh, the CETX that obviously you could see took a huge hit. Starting to make a little bit of a comeback. That was one of the stocks I said, you know, it looks like pretty much a bottom uh, short squeeze. So that one's looking like it's moving pretty nicely right there. The NETE. But this is like second protocol, these two stocks. I wasn't completely sold. There's four other ones I, I really like a lot. But this is like second protocol, which made the radar, you know, 69,000 shares up 8%. Listen, we're always looking for stocks that are up a minimum 5% in pre-market. The WTR... H is what I had a little star next to. This one took a major hit from 14 down to about a dollar fifty. She moved up really nicely yesterday. She's hitting two bucks. You know, nice little push, nice little trend, nice little level one stock for all you beginners out there. She's got good volume. So if you're a beginner trader, this might be up your alley. Another little cheapy is the uh, NBIO. You everyone remembers this one. We did trade this stock. Uh, back in uh, was it uh, end of April? It was May, I think. You could see it. Stock went from five to ten. It was up a hundred percent, not including the gap right there, which made about over three hundred percent. You know the stock is moving. Almost a half a million shares traded this morning. It's got great volume, decent six percent. You know, nice little stock. Uh, another one. Let, let me go. Let me go through the second protocols. I'm gonna save the best for last. So we got Z A G G. Had some pretty good announcements after hours. Uh, but now she's kind of really flatlined, so we'll see if she holds here from yesterday's previous support levels. GSX, another one I found this morning. Here's another stock up 10%, 159,000 shares already traded. Stock uh, gapped up from 16 to 1850. Looks like she's building some support levels here. Not a lot of level three quotes out there, which once again, we need those orders to kind of tell us where to get in, where to get out. Uh, we saw, you probably all heard about the uh, Dick Sporting Goods. They had good earnings. I don't know what ended up happening, but she all of a sudden started backing down again. So that one's not really doing too well. JWN. Nordstrom's, you know, good earnings after hours. Started reversing. The stock took a major hit. I think I talked about the stock a few times, like my wife's favorite store. But uh, but the other, but the, the other two that I favored this morning... And there's no guarantee they're going to move, but these other two, the other ones I thought that were right up our alley that are moving is, number one is GameStop. Now, we know GameStop got decimated, destroyed. Well, you know what? She's starting to, she made a little pop right here. She got resistance from after hours from yesterday, right around $4. So she's testing right there. 12% up, you know, 400,000 shares a lot. There's a big seller right now you can see for 20 Thousand shares, twenty-three thousand shares. I want to see if these guys get taken out on level three. If they do, the stock could really have a nice little run going into the uh, into the open. And then, last but not least, our favorite stock, my, one of my favorite, BJ's. Uh, BJ's took a major, major hit. And uh, listen, if you love Costco, this is like this is like a baby Costco, uh, but not even close. But you know, it's pretty good. You know, we we trade on the IPO. We did well. Went up from twenty to twenty-eight. Took a big big hit with a little bit of correction here, but she's like covering right around these prices. But she gapped up pretty nicely, so it was a good buy if we saw right around the twenty one, twenty two. So right now almost at twenty six. You keep an eye on it. The only bad thing about this BJ's, it's not really a day trading stock. It doesn't you know it's trading a lot of volume, shockingly. I think it's the most I've ever seen in pre market. But this is pretty much it. So um, and then the Target, I mean, we all know about Target yesterday. Uh, Target just had that really big gap up. Once again, you, you know, a lot of these uh, brick and mortar stores coming out with earnings. But, you know, Target did really well. And, you know, the good thing about Target, she's holding pretty strong. So uh, I like to like to congratulate all the people that work there. You know, listen, they work hard. They're going to get, they, listen, they're making money. These companies give stock options. So, you know, listen. $15 an hour all you want. I'd rather take the stock option 
because if I, if they gave me a gave me a stock option on that one, they'd be looking pretty damn good right now over the course of the year. So let's give Target a big, big round of applause. So anyway, Ben just made a little. Ben made about forty cents on LB right now on the short. Yeah, LB just came from nowhere. You know what? I like that LB. Nice little trend. It was that Ellie Bean? I guess that's probably only brick, brick and mortar is not probably doing too well. But uh, that one looks like a pretty nice little short trending down, breaking lower lows. Let me just bring a one minute chart. You can see it right there. And uh, there's a big buyer here at 19. So let's see what happens with that guy. And once again, level four also helps. All right. Hey, guys, there's our watch list. We're gonna, I'll put them in the announcements. And don't forget, this is going to also be recorded and be broadcasted on our YouTube channel and all that good stuff. And then before we go, just don't forget, like I know some of you just logged in late. You can still get in, um, try to get into that uh, trading summit. You know, we got the, uh, the head guys that run Benzinga going to be down here, going to do a presentation here. We're going to do all live trading. We got level four. Um, we got the book map that's going to be coming. So it's going to be a fun event. We got a great dinner at night for you, better than ever we ever had before. So uh, look forward to seeing you all guys then. So if you want to know more about it, don't forget to just call up and uh, talk to Education Advisors. In the meantime, everyone, enjoy your class today. And uh, we'll see you back in the afternoon for the afternoon meeting. All right? Just take the money and run. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.